Welcome in front of me I have CMF Watch 3 Pro and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Basically if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your iPhone via the Nothing X application. And once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we need to open the settings on our iPhone, tap on Bluetooth, and here you will see a list of my devices. And on that list, there should be CMF Watch 3 Pro. Next to it, there should be this info icon, tap on it, and here uh, you probably will see the option called share system notifications and you need to enable this option. You can also enable the option to show message uh, notifications if you want to or maybe you need to enable both. I think you need to enable both. So enable both of them. Once you enable both, you can close the settings. Uh, I forgot to mention though, it's possible uh, you're gonna miss this option, the share system notification option. And if you're missing this option right here in the menu, close the settings, open the Nothing X application. Uh, here, find the notifications and turn on the app notifications or the call reminder. And once you turn them on, wait. And after a few seconds, there should be pop up about the notification permissions. And once you see it, allow all of the uh, requirements or rather allow all of the um, not requirements but uh, permissions and once you allow them you can go back to settings uh, bluetooth info icon and then the option should be here now make sure it is enabled and enable this one as well then go back to the nothing x app notifications and here we can turn on or off the notification for calls and uh, we can turn on or off the notification for um, Applications, for some reason, we can't turn it off by tapping on the switch. We need to go to the Bluetooth device and tap on the info icon and disable the uh, share system notifications. For some reason, I can't turn it off by tapping on the button, which is weird design, but okay. And once you enable the notifications for the applications, you will see the list of apps. And basically, you can allow or deny the permissions for the, or enable or disable the notifications for specific applications. So let's say you enable the notifications for is there Discord here on the list? Yes. So if you enable the notifications for Discord uh, and you receive the notification from Discord on your iPhone, that notification will be forwarded to your watch. But if you disable it, it won't be forwarded to your watch. You will see it only on your iPhone. So enable the notifications for the apps you like. And if you're missing an app on this list and you want to enable the notifications for it, you can also enable the option called other apps. And this option enables notifications for uh, apps that are not on this list. So basically if they're installed on your iPhone but are not on this list, it will enable the notifications uh, for them. Then we have the alarm option and here you can clear the alarm. So that's not important right now. Okay, so at this point the notifications should be working. Let me see if I'm logged in into Discord. I'm not, so I'm gonna log in and we're gonna test it out. Okay, now we are logged in. I'm gonna send myself a message on Discord. And let's see if it's working. And we got notification on our iPhone. And we got it also on our watch as well. And if you miss it, you can swipe up on the home screen to open the notifications. Okay, and that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.